Right, today with us we have uh, stories on stage with Abby and Anthony. Anthony, hey, welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome, Thanks Abby. Very much. Um, so, like I asked earlier, what is Stories on Stage? Well, we're a professional theater company, and we actually uh, do a regular season of nine shows with professional actors performing short stories. So they basically play all the characters, and they bring all the emotion and the humor of the story alive on stage in front of a live audience. If you liked being read to as a kid, you're going to love stories on stage. <laughs> okay. and I liken it too, like um, books on tape on steroids. Yes. So something, <laughs> something like that. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, like we were talking about earlier as well, um, you guys are in your 18th season, and so what do you think attracts people from, to come back and just enjoy so much of what is? What well, a lot of it is a love of literature. A lot of it is the professional actors that we have, and they really do bring the stories to life. And it, be, it becomes a very kind of one-on-one -on -one situation with the audience and the actor and we hear from our actors that they love to perform for us because it's different for them it's not theater where there's kind of a wall between them and the audience it's very intimate between the actor and the audience and the audience and the audience and so yeah we have folks that have been coming for 18 years actually yeah which is, is that like crazy. 18 seasons? Or 18, 18 seasons. Oh, 18 seasons, 18 years. Oh my yeah. God. They've been, they've been there since the beginning. Okay. Um, and why do you use professional actors, or what's the compelling reason of that? Like, why, why stick to that and not like use maybe up and coming actors? Or do you, is that the reason professional actors was how you said kind of, kind of like that professionalism of grabbing the audience's attention? Or it's, it's really the skill set. Because you know, reading a 20-minute or a 25-minute story, it's just you and a music stand and the story and the audience, and so you got to bring, you got to have some chops, you got to bring some craft to bear. So we find that professional actors, you know, can drive the story and pace it and sort of feel what the audience is giving them, giving the energy they're getting from the audience and give that back. So, That's great. yeah. Okay. And That's kudos to Anthony, who's our artistic director, is mm. that within each story, you really kind of there's only a couple of actors that can perform that story and bring it home. So it, there's a fine art to the actor and the story that they get associated with. When I first started directing, older directors would say, well, casting is everything. And you'd go, well, no, I think I bring something to the table. <laughs> yeah. you know? and go, but uh, I learned casting is everything. <laughs> casting is important. OK, that's, thanks for that. Um, and why do you think the literature is important? Why, why is literature important? I, f for me, I mean, it's, it, literature is important to different people for different reasons, but for me, more and more, you know, we're such a technological society, and I think there's a threat of being isolated by technology. And suddenly, literature brings us together, and, and when you have the audience experiencing the story through the actor, you know, everybody in the audience gets to walk around in someone else's shoes for a little while. And, kind of understand what other experiences might be like. And I think that's more and more important. Literature brings that to us in a way that not everything does. That's interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting viewpoint on that. And uh, so now the re big reason is why should we go see, or what's, what, if you had to talk to somebody about convincing them to go, what would you get? What would you tell them? Well, our next show is Magic for Beginners. And those are stories that um, feature um, stories about magicians and the magic in, in our life. Um, and in addition, we're having an actual magician come, which <laughs> oh. is different. Uh, first time we're, we're doing that. So uh, the stories, and as are most of our performances, are entertaining. And yet, as Anthony was saying, it's a way to kind of commune with each other, a chance to see what somebody else's life is like that's totally different. And it's just, it's just a hoot. It's two hours well spent. And, yeah, so that that's actually November seventeenth. Okay, we're quite so, excited about that. Yeah, thanks for that. That's a magician. Like I'm, I'm from Vegas originally. Uh, there you are. I've been to <laughs> magic shows, but uh, you should totally come. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Um, when is this event, or where is this? Like, uh, so it's November seventeenth, which is a Saturday, and there are two shows. There's a one thirty and a seven thirty, and it's uh, actually at Su Teatro Cultural and Performing Arts Center, which is on Seventh and Santa Fe. So not too far from here, certainly. Oh, it's like a, a really mile from somewhere. here and from downtown. OK, that might appeal to the. I know a guy who can get you tickets. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, indeed. indeed. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's great. Um, do you want to guys anything, deem any more important information maybe to maybe like how the professional actors get ready and prep? How do they prep for like their 
the readings? How do they get ready for those? Like, yeah. how do you think they are? Well, we do rehearsals, you know, but it's so interesting because in a normal play, your other, your scene partner, the other actors are, are who you're interacting with. With stories on stage, it's the actor and the audience is the other scene partner. So we rehearse, but until we get the audience, we never know exactly what's going to happen. And I, a story I love to tell is we had a, a story we rehearsed with a wonderful actor. It was about a restaurateur, and it's the opening of the restaurant, and everything goes wrong the night the critics are there. We thought it was a tragedy. The audience thought it was a comedy. So we had rehearsed it one way. The audience gets going, they start laughing, and the actor, you know, the light bulb goes off, and he goes, oh, comedy, and mm -hmm. turns it on a dime and changes his approach and his delivery. Mm -hmm. And it was a riot, but but the actor and I really thought we were dealing with a very serious story. <laughs> we were wrong. That's, that's crazy. You guys yeah. practice so much, and then the audience reacts. But that's the whole the viewpoint. The end is the audience what they get out of it. Exactly. Right? That's life. But uh, yeah, thank you, Anthony, Abby. Um, thank you. Appreciate it, and I'll make sure um, you heard her. November, uh, what was this, 17th? 17th, right? yeah. yeah. 1 30, You guys could go see stories on stage, which I probably will if there's magic. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Abby.